Alrighty, time to investigate in the garden. First, let's examine this pool of water, which is right over here. Alrighty. Interesting, interesting. So this pool was definitely used tonight to put out the fire in Babel. And we take some notes. Ah! Larry! Larry, what are you doing in the pool? Um, yes. Wait, your son? Larry has a son? Larry, you don't know basic information about your own child. Yes, and who is the mother? Oh, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, what? No, wait, I'm confused now. Did he really have a son with Wendy Oldbag? Or is he just talking about Steel Samurai Daddy? Okay, he's talking about Steel Samurai Daddy. Okay. Alrighty, so the Iron Infant is the son of the Steel Samurai Daddy. He is not really the son of Larry. I think it is probably a good thing for the world that Larry Butts has not managed to procreate. The last thing we need are more Larry Buttses. And then Larry just disappears. Alrighty, so now we are going to examine the two statues. Statue number one is over here. Reading a woman's heart? Where on earth did that come from, Francisca? Very strange indeed. And here's statue number two. Alrighty, and finally, we need to talk to Detective Lang. I mean, Agent Lang. Not Detective Lang. One person ran a red light? Ooh, that's not good. But they didn't find any information about the case. Way to fail, men in black.
I'm pretty sure Edgeworth will succeed where the men in black have failed. Okay, so nobody really saw the Yadagarasu. They just saw the shadow of the Yadagarasu. Okay, interesting, interesting. Oh, come on, the men in black are a bunch of failures. Alright, way to go, Edgeworth! The shadows were actually made by the two statues in the garden. That's statue number one. And the other part, of course, is statue number two. Alrighty, that definitely looks like part of the Yadagurasu statue. Alright, so when we put the two shadows together, we get... Yeah, that looks kind of weird. It looks like a unicorn. It's like a lady who's really fat, and she also has a unicorn horn. Yeah, the king statue looks good. Let's just fix the other statue.
All right, so how can we make the shape in green? Think about it. Think about it. What looks like the shape in green? The answer is the hand of the statue. Alrighty, there we go. We have solved the mystery of the shadow of the Yadagarasu. So it was all just a trick of the light. Hmm, hmm. But you know, not just a random trick of the light, the culprit specifically set this up in order to create a panic. And it seems that the fake Yadagarasu has an unknown accomplice. We don't know who the accomplice is, but in any case, our investigation in the Rose Garden is now complete. Oh, hey, Detective Bad, how's it going? Alrighty, some new evidence. Alrighty, sounds like we have another ridiculous photograph from Lotta Hart. And it's kind of hard to see, but it looks like the Yadagarasu is falling out of a window. Either that or he's flying. I'm not exactly sure. Nah, he, 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 I mean, come on, the Yadagarasu can't be flying. Obviously, he is falling. Kinda. No, maybe not? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a picture of the Yadagarasu. It's evidence which will definitely become important later on in this case. Yes, that's a fact, Edgeworth. Oh, I remember that case. Yeah, that was case number five of the third Phoenix Wright game. And that was case number three of the second Phoenix Wright game. Okay, so those are the two cases in the Phoenix Wright series which Francisca is referring to, the two cases which involve somebody flying. But in both of those cases, there was no real flying. It was just a trick of the evidence, something crazy like that, because people really cannot fly. And that's why I think, in this case, we will find out that the Yadagarasu is not really capable of flying.
And now let's get back to Babel for some more investigation. <laughs>